The Ukrainian armed forces have been acquiring the BTR for Armored Personnel Carrier APC, in limited quantities. It has been discovered that the production of its armored hulls can only be undertaken by a single company throughout Ukraine, the Lozova Forging Mechanical Plant LKMZ. For the manufacturing of BTR-4 hulls, the plant employs outdated Soviet-era techniques, with a significant portion of the welding being done manually. This facility has the capacity to produce a maximum of 20 holes per month. Subsequent to 2018, production of BTR-4 holes commenced at the Zydemir Armored Vehicle Repair Plant. This move facilitated an acceleration in production and an increase in output numbers. Nevertheless, the Ukrainian armed forces required not merely tens, but hundreds of new APCs per month. However, the Russian invasion in 2022 effectively spelled the end for this project. The Horenzi was conceived as an independent initiative by the Praktika Research and Production Association, a company specializing in armored vehicle manufacturing. This new APC represents a complete overhaul of the aging BTR 60PB APC, which first entered service in the late 1960s. Ukraine possessed a number of these dated armored vehicles. The Horan Z has been offered for consideration by the Ukrainian Armed Forces since 2016. While the floor plan of the BTR 60PB has been retained in the Horan Z, all other components, including the upper hull, engine, and transmission, have been replaced with new elements. The interior has been redesigned, and the engine compartment has been relocated from the rear to the center of the hull. This redesign has enabled the creation of a troop compartment at the rear. The vehicle's armor protection has been augmented. Consequently, the Horan Z has a markedly different external appearance. It is a significantly more modern and capable armored vehicle than the BTR 60PB. A similar approach can be applied to other Soviet APCs, such as the BTR-70 and BTR-80. The protection afforded by the BTR-60PB falls short of modern standards. However, during the conversion process, the armor has been substantially bolstered and the hull design has been revised to enhance protection. The front arc of the Horanzi can withstand 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Overall protection covers NATO 7.62 by 51 mm and 5.56 by 45 mm ball ammunition, while the hull also provides defense against fragments from artillery shells. The interior is lined with a spall liner. The vehicle now boasts a multi-layered armored floor, which greatly enhances its resistance to mine detonations. The Horan Z can withstand blasts equivalent to 6 kg of TNT. In contrast, the original BTR 60PB offered little safeguard against mine explosions and improvised explosive devices. This Ukrainian APC can be equipped with various weaponry, including a remotely controlled weapon station featuring a 14.5mm heavy machine gun. Interestingly, this weapon can be reloaded from within the vehicle. Additionally, there are Horanzi variants armed with a turret-mounted 30mm cannon. Thanks to the modified hull and increased roof height, the Horanzi boasts greater internal volume compared to the BTR-60. The rear of the vehicle has been redesigned to facilitate troop entry and exit from the rear. It features a power-operated ramp with integrated doors. The seating arrangement has also been revised, with the crew and passengers seated on energy-absorbing seats. The vehicle is powered by a Deutz TCD 2013 diesel engine, producing 210 horsepower. Alternatively, an upgraded TCD 2013 engine generating 320 horsepower can be installed. This engine is paired with an Allison automatic transmission, representing a significant improvement over the BTR 60's arrangement of two petrol engines, each producing 90 horsepower, and a manual transmission. The Horan Z retains its amphibious capabilities, although the water jet of the BTR-60 has been removed. When traveling on water, the new armored personnel carrier propels itself by spinning its wheels. Numerous versions of the Horan Z have been proposed, including an armored command vehicle, an armored ambulance, and a mortar carrier. <laughs>